let's try something new, or rather old, like what I used to do back in the Geek Speak days on TYTU. I'm going to do a bunch of stories lightning round style, because Jake, my boss, did it, and it was awesome. And I have nothing to gain from saying that, because he's not here, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't watch the channel. Um, OK, first story. Bitcoins are now worth, well, this article says they're worth $92, but there's an updated number today, and there'll probably be an updated number tomorrow, that they're worth $116 US dollars. Now, bitcoins don't work the same way as regular currency. It's not centralized at all. And instead of going to a regular job to earn them, you run a compute, you leave a computer running, or maybe a botnet, to mine the coins. And there's no reason why it should have blown up the way it has. Economists don't understand how the currency is worth now altogether over a billion dollars. But it's pretty incredible. One of the big problems is that most places don't accept it as currency. Mainly, you can buy some illegal stuff, and some cool coffee shops do accept it, but that's here and there. You can exchange it for some gift certificates, but it's still very cool. We just have to wait for the next step, which is getting it more widely accepted. What kind of illegal stuff? <laughs> the Raspberry Pi Model A went on sale in the United States this week for $25. It's a smaller, stripped-down version of the Model B microcomputer, and it has a 700 megahertz processor, one USB port, no Ethernet port, and half the RAM just to keep prices down. It's really awesome, especially if you want to learn about computer engineering and programming, and you want to do your own D DIY project. Uh, it's designed if you want to make something with a battery or solar power, and it's a great way to learn. I want one, but I can't because it's actually sold out already. They burned through all 20,000 units, but more are coming soon, and you can make all kinds of cool things with it, like this new emulator called RPIX86. You can emulate the world of DOS games that are no longer able to be played, such as Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, Ultima Underworld, Day of the Tentacle, Anyway, a lot of these games, there's, you're hard pressed to find a way to play them, and the emulator is a great way to do it. I love that philosophy. It's like using no way as a way. And if you know what martial art I studied based off that phrase, you win a prize. The prize is nothing, because I have, I have nothing to give you, but I love you. Humble is known for its bundle sales, where it gets together a collection of indie games, you set a price to pay, you get it. A Big chunk goes to charity, everyone wins, and it's so beautiful. Well, now they're doing a new thing where they do the Humble Weekly Sale. Notice how they dropped the word bundle, because it's just one. And that would be weird if that didn't work, and it doesn't. <laughs> anyway, what they'll do is you can pay at least a dollar, and you will get whatever game it is of the week. This week it's Red Orchestra. If you beat the average, which right now is, I believe, around 290, you will get another tiered bonus. If you donate around 25 or more, you will get some real world incentive that ships to you for free worldwide, which is pretty outstanding. I think it's great. Can you explain to me like how it exactly works? Okay, so what you what you do is you choose to pay whatever amount you believe that is fair, and a portion of it will go to Humble, a portion will go to the indie developer. Supporting indie developers is good, let me mind you. And another portion goes to a charity. And you get to set like how much you want to go to which group. Like, let's say you want the charity to get almost all of it. You can do that. And if you beat the average, average price that people are paying, you will get some kind of bonus. So it's win, 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 I think. I think it's a great way to get games and produce games and help charity and be a company. And it looks like, you know, maybe they've, because they, they've been releasing these periodically. And now this is the weekly sales. So I guess week after week after week, it'll be something new. It'll draw more traffic. It'll be great. Or maybe it'll get played out. I don't know. I hope it won't. We'll see. So how much could I expect to be paying right now? $10, $20? For Red Orchestra? Yeah. I mean, you can pay a dollar if you want to, I think. A dollar? Yep. Cough up at least a dollar and it's yours. But Let's say you're feeling like, you know, I know I got a good deal. Why don't I help out the charity a little bit? You could do that too. But then, you know, you do get incentives for paying more. So it, you, I mean, 
judging case by case by, you know, whatever the game is, let's say it's a game you've had your eye on for a while, you would like that $25 incentive where you get some real world item shipped to you wherever you are for free. And I think that's a pretty good deal because shipping is a deal breaker in my book. So I think it's a great idea and I'm glad they're doing it. Let's see if it turns out well. Is that true? Let's get him! Let's get out of here!